Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on why I decided to finally get into the outdoor industry. And for me, it was a lot of back and forth, you know, pros and cons, you know, positives and negatives of being in the outdoor industry. And so for a long time, I actually wanted to be a doctor because then I could afford to go on all of the hunts because I didn't think, you know, um, starting my own TV show on the Outdoor Channel and, you know, all this other fun stuff was possible. But then I also realized that science doesn't make certain parts or certain subjects in science don't make as sen much sense to me as I thought that they did. So the whole doctor thing that went out the window. And so for the last several years, I'd been batting it back and forth you know, debating, because if there is one thing on this earth that I love more than anything, it's hunting. Like, I just love being in the outdoors, and a lot of people think, oh, it's just about going out and shooting an animal. It's not. Like, you know, seeing the sunrise come up when you're in your tree stand, or you're sitting on a hillside glassing, you know, just out there enjoying nature. Like, it's so much more than just the kill, because... You know, if it was just about, you know, filling a tag, it would become very boring very quick. Like, you have to enjoy, you know, waking up early, freezing your ass off in a tree stand or on a hillside, you know, walking in before it's even daylight. Like, there's so much more to it than a lot of people truly realize. And so... You know, like my elk season, I didn't get my elk this year, but I had an amazing season. You know, we had bulls talking, coming into calls, I almost got a shot, you know, had a bull at two yards and had a staring contest with him. You know, those are some experiences that will, you know, last me the rest of my life. You know, I'll remember those probably on my deathbed because that's how, you know, important that experience was to me. And, you know, getting into the outdoor industry, you know, I thought it would just be, you know, a lot of pressure to fill tags and stuff. But as I've seen a lot of guys that have their YouTube channels and stuff, they don't fill the tag every single time. Sometimes they miss, sometimes they lose a bull or a buck. Like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And so... You know, after seeing that, I was like, okay, this is something I can probably do then. So, I started doing that and just researching, you know, trying to figure out a logo, a name. And finally, I came up with Fletch Addicts. And I, you know, love it. Like, this is what I look forward to. And I haven't been able to post a lot of videos due to my actual day job because I'm not making any money off this yet, so I can't afford to quit my day job yet. But eventually, hopefully down the line, I can, you know, achieve sponsors and stuff and, you know, be able to do this full time as a job. And I look forward to that. And, you know, some of the people I've always looked up to were like Roger Raglan, Cameron Haynes, uh, Larry Wysoon, um, Larry D. Jones. Uh, what was his name? Dwight something. Anyway, there was a lot of guys. And one of the things that really drew me in was actually bow hunting. Like, there's just something about it, you know. You know, it's just a challenge, and not everyone enjoys that challenge of trying to get, you know, within X amount of yards of an animal, because, you know, not everyone's ethical shot limit is the same. So, personally, for me, my cutoff is 60 yards. I think that's the furthest until I actually have a setup to where I can practice out to 100 yards. But for a first shot kill, I think no matter how far you can shoot accurately, I think the cutoff is 60 yards for a one shot kill.
no matter who you are as a bow hunter. So the guys that are shooting over 100 yards, I mean, you do you, but to me, that's just, that's just way too far. But anyway, uh, I did a, I did a video on that. It's actually uh, ethical shots, the debate of ethical shots in bow hunting, my, the video here. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and. Uh, see that one leave your comments please like and subscribe um, so the one thing the one show the shows that really appealed to me were always the bow hunting shows so whenever a bow hunting episode came on of North American Whitetail Bow Hunter Magazine TV uh, scent blockers you know whatever it was that was bow hunting related I was always super excited and then finally when I was 14 or 15 I was able to start bow hunting for mule deer in eastern Washington and never got one. Didn't get my first archery deer until I was 25. I'm now 28 and I've shot four deer with my bow. So I, everything is sunshine and rainbows. It's not what you see on YouTube or the Outdoor Channel or somebody goes out their first year bow hunting and guess what they get a deer it's not like that it took me 10 years to finally get my first deer with a bow and i was so jacked up it wasn't even funny and still even four deer later i i wouldn't trade that feeling for the world it's just a completely different feeling especially shooting a buck with a bow like it's just something different like, I love rifle hunting, but I love bow hunting even more. Like, even during gun season, if I'm out packing a rifle, I'm still packing my bow. Because if there's a situation where I can put a stock on an animal and kill it with my bow, I'd rather do that. And a lot of people I hunt with or have hunted with, they don't understand it. And they're just like, why don't you just rifle hunt? It's easier. And I'm like, I'm not looking for easy. Like, I'm looking for, you know, an actual hunt. You know, seeing a deer like 700 yards down in a canyon, having to sneak on down there, put a stock on him, and stick him. And still put an ethical shot. So, you know, there's just so much more to it than that, so. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I was just very hesitant to get into it because I didn't want to ruin something that I loved like I never wanted it to feel like a job something I had to do even though to a degree it does feel like that but it's not something like you know if I don't get out of bed and go hunt this morning I'm not going to get this footage so I'm not going to get that money and blah 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 like I never wanted it to feel like that but now that now after this past hunting season I'm actually trying to start my business and actually trying to grow a following, put together a, you know, Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. Like, I'm still learning. Like, it's very hard to grow a following, but it's, it's definitely a great feeling when you're starting to see progress. Like, going from zero followers, like, let's say on Instagram, to now 62, well, that doesn't seem like a lot. To me, that's just awesome that some people would want to follow me and, you know, watch my bow hunting journey of putting out trail cameras and, uh, you know, picking trail cameras, which I'll do a cross comparison on the two trail cameras that I use this year on a later video. Um, but yeah, overall, just an amazing feeling. I absolutely love it actually cooking right now so I have to move you guys don't want my burger to burn yeah cooking up some deer burger I think this is from my dough it was a nice young dough so the meat's super tender she was maybe a two-year-old doe. When I first saw her, I thought she was only a yearling, but when I got up to her, she seemed a lot bigger than a yearling, so 
yeah. But anyway, that's kind of like the summary of why I decided to get into the outdoor industry. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this video. I know I've, I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time, but I just never knew how to really put it into words as to why I wanted to get into the outdoor industry. But it's just the thing that I'm passionate about and I absolutely love with all my heart is being out indoors, fishing, hunting, you know, snowboarding, whatever. The outdoors has always just been the thing that I've absolutely loved. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to Fletch Addicts. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, hope you had a good one.